M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Just a quick one. I'm using Node Remote to control my node. You can hear it there in the background. So to control your node via your smartphone, this is a, the perfect app because it works on Android and iOS. You can use Supermon, which looks like this. But today we're looking at how to configure the node remote. There are instructions provided by the developer, which you can see just here. Let's take a look at them. The important section is just here. Move this out of the way. So let's just quickly go through those sections and they are numbered. So number one is just open the file called manager conf in your asterisk uh, device. So I'll show you that. Make a note of the following. So that's your port, your password, etc. So let's actually do that. Uh, so we'll go to a program called WinSCP. It looks like this. Once you open it, the shortcut, you get this program here. And this is actually you talking to the SD card that is inside your, your node whilst it's connected to your Raspberry Pi. So go to the, the first window that normally opens is the root window. And we're looking for, if you go like this, look at the very top here where the arrow is. So just show it here like so. You've got the word, see me clicking just there. And we go root. And then you go to ETC, which is here. ETC, then scroll down on mine, it's asterisk and ending R-I-S-K. Double click that and then here you've got manager conf, manager conf. So we double click that, just here. It's gonna click OK, it just needs to log back in. And if you scroll down, there's only two lines we're actually interested in. These are the ones here that start B-I-N-D-A-D-D-R, so bindada quite funny but just make sure you've got a colon on front of the first one and then it reads exactly as this one does by and I'll copy and paste it in the description as well just so you've got it there you are I'm gonna copy it now copied anyway so by and then you've got the one two seven dot zero dot one that's pretty much default but underneath that you've got bind a d d r equals and all zeros but the the colon has been removed that's the key thing here that made mine work and then going down further, you're going to set here at the bottom your own password in front of the word secret. And then save at the top here, just click save. So if I just make a small change, you'll see that the top goes blue. And see it goes blue there, you can click save there. Let's move that down so you can see it. It's blue here and you can click save, but I'm not going to save that change. Uh, so there you are, save. Then I would reboot it correctly. So go into putty, PU, you can download putty anywhere. And that takes you back into, again, talking to the device that's whilst it's plugged into the SD card, put your IP address in, which you can get from our advanced scanner if you can't find it. Uh, three twos at the top and advanced scanner looks like this. It's quite a handy program for finding things. Also, definitely, let's see you on Hubnet, meet you on Hubnet, check that one out. You'll like Hubnet a lot. It's very good Hubnet. And so, okay, so now this Hubnet, back to Putty, we'll log in, get the usual black window, the password, the username is nearly always um, root, lowercase, enter, and then you're gonna put in raspberry6, enter. And then you just go down here to, uh, you just want to reboot it, don't you? So let's have a look here. I'm just going to click restart asterisk server, but you can, you know, click reboot as well. F -F you hear it talking. Now look at the node remote instructions. And remember, you've got it for iOS and Android. They do look a bit different, but it just works well. It's that simple. And then logging in on your on your actual device. If I show you mine here, yeah, made that quite big. Um, if I go back, come out, and look, you need to put in your node number that you've got you get from All Star. The username is nearly always admin, password, the IP address that we're using for our Raspberry Pi, and then 5038 and sign in. And then you can start trying to connect to different nodes. There you are, just connected to hub that there, just by tapping the screen. 
you've got a big settings menu there you can try out stuff or you can manually dial just by pressing the button as a little QR code there. you can type a number here and and log into any node that you want to node in so we're having great fun it's this is just a, like a radio less node there's no radio involved here We've got a CM108, just so I can listen to it. It's not for transmission, but you can buy a, micro, um, a very cheap microphone set that will allow that, which is the MPOW 071. It's perfect because it's got the buttons with the built-in CM108, and you can press the PTT. You definitely want to make sure it's got this, uh, and then it will work. You can plug in your PTT there. There is some configuration to do as well. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Bye for now.